Welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, I want to talk to you about why the Wretch character class is both amazing and terrible at exactly the same time. That also makes the Wretch class Elden Ring's best and worst beginner class. So I'm going to explain a couple of things for both sides of the argument and exactly why I think Wretch is both amazing and terrible and why I'm actually going to personally use Wretch. But just quickly before we get any further into the video, if you're not currently sub to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get into it. So what I've done is watched a couple of videos hearing both sides of the argument. And in this game, when you have a class like the Warrior, Prophet, Astrologer, any of the other classes besides Wretch, when you respec, you can drop your stats way lower than the 10 you can with Wretch. So you're going to be able to spec way more points into a certain stat than what you can with Wretch. However, at exactly the same time, the quality of using Wretch will decrease the more you play. So if you are at any point wanting to use Wretch, I would recommend using Wretch on your very first playthrough. And that is why Wretch is the best and worst starting class at the same time. If you think about it, when you load into Elden Ring for your very first time, you've never played the game before. If you go for the Samurai, you're going to start with a Katana. You've got a lovely set of armor. When you're killing enemies and finding weapons and other armor pieces, they might not be that appealing. You could go on the entire game to stick with the same starting armor. Whereas, with the Wretch, you start with absolutely no armor and you start the game with a stick. So this is going to make you appreciate all of the loot that drops way more than what you would with a different class. So the Wretch is going to be amazing for trying out all the different loot and armor that you come across. You have the freedom to build Wretch however you want to. If you go for Astrologer, you're going to be focused way more on casting and spells than what you would using melee weapons and then if you go with samurai you're going to be way more into your melee weapons than what you are casting with spells so all nine of the other classes are pretty much built specifically for certain things however with wretch you're not built for anything you're like a default starting character class whatever you want to call it you have absolutely nothing all of your stats start at 10, so you don't have 16 Dexterity, you don't have 15 Arcane, you've got 10 across the board. So as balanced as a level 1, you can put your stats into whatever you want to, you focus on your own specific playstyle. So you get way more freedom in how you build your Wretch compared to the other classes, and that makes Wretch terrible at the same time as amazing, because... It's terrible how the other nine classes start with, for an example, Prisoner starts with 14 Dexterity, 14 Intelligence. Vagabond starts with 15 Vigor and 14 Strength. Wretch is going to start with 10 for every single stat. So it's terrible for having low stats compared to some others, but it's amazing because you get the freedom to build however you want. Not only that, but when you're playing Elden Ring, you're using the Wretch, you have absolutely no idea what you are doing in the game, and you've picked a character that starts with a stick and some underwear. So that can be seen as both a positive and a negative. The negative being, you've got absolutely no idea what you're doing, and you've chose a character that has no proper weapon, no proper armor. But then the positive is, you're going to have a much deeper experience. So if you're starting with any of the other nine classes, you've got your pre-selected weapons, you've got your pre-selected armor. So when an enemy drops loot, you're probably not going to be interested in quite a lot of it. So using the wretch definitely chucks you into the game at the deep end, like the deepest end of characters and their classes. But with that, you're going to learn way more than what you would using any other class. But in turn, to balance it out, the difficulty gets bumped up. And one thing I'm going to recommend or 
like pass advice across about. Obviously, it's up to you what you do. It's your game. You play it however. But I would like to say, from my personal opinion, don't use Wretch just for the memes. I know a lot of people are just jumping in saying, oh yeah, I'm using Wretch. I'm going to start with Wretch. Wretch sounds amazing. There's nothing wrong with Wretch. So on and so forth. And you might sound cool on the internet saying all that stuff, but you're probably going to end up raging way more than if you used another class, and that can easily ruin your experience. So I would say it's all up to your level of patience. If you're a patient player, I would say you can definitely start off as a wretch. There's no problems with it at all. But if you don't have that much patience, you want to go for a specific build, then I would use the other nine classes. Another thing about the experience, if you play with a different class, any of them besides the wretch, when you come across vendors and stuff in the game that have really cool weapons, you're going to know exactly where they are. So if you go back into the game at a later date using Wretch, it's not going to be as enjoyable. You're not going to get the full satisfaction of finding something cool. And that's why I would recommend using Wretch for your first playthrough. Because if you're wanting to fully experience Elden Ring and everything it has to offer, then Wretch is probably the best class to start with. But you're not going to have an easy time in the game. It's going to be the hardest possible time. It's just a much deeper experience with the game and you're going to feel a lot better finding your weapons and armor everything is going to give you way more satisfaction because you're literally starting off with just a stick and some underwear so just to sum this up and like wrap up the video for pure example you want to start off the game really strong loads of health you want reduced full damage quick casting all that sort of stuff vagabond is going to be your best bet you're starting with 15 vigor 14 strength and 13 dexterity if you start with the astrologer you're starting with 16 intelligence 15 mind but your vigor is going to be low so you can stand back you can cast your spells but your health's going to be really low so if you get too close to an enemy you're probably going to have to pay the price of death if you start with a samurai you've got 15 dexterity 12 vigor 13 endurance and 12 strength that's again really good for reduced fall damage quicker casting and you've got both ranged and melee you start with a katana all that cool stuff but with the wretch you're going in bare bones you're basically essentially going in naked you go in with a stick underwear on and the adventure is yours it's completely up to you where you go what you do you're going to find all the loot and you're going to want to try it all if you've got a stick and you find any form of a sword you're going to pick it up if you find any set of armor you're going to pick it up you're going to try absolutely everything and you're going to appreciate the drops way more so there is like a i'd say it's quite a balanced pros and cons list with the wretch and i was like pretty much fully set on starting as a samurai just because i think the armor set's really cool i like the idea of starting with a katana got decent vigor a load of dexterity it was a really good idea in my head i'm paying 50 quid for this game i'm only going to buy the standard edition i'm not interested in the stuff that the deluxe comes with but i'm paying 50 quid for this game i want to have the full experience with it but then that's my personal opinion and what we're going to do is wrap the video up let me know your thoughts and stuff about it in the comments and i'll see you in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed it yeah.